In this example, I have two use case diagram. One is the order processing. There is a manager. I can see where is this manager. It is under the order processing model. And I also have an infantry use case diagram. And in this diagram, the actor are under the actor grid. So if you open the actor grid, you will see two manager, but actually they are referring to the same things. So I would like to merge these two actors together to the same actor. What I, what I can do is first of all I need to decide which one is I want to be the primary and uh, the actors I want to keep. And say for example I want to keep the, this one. Let me see the wheel. I can see where it is showing. It is showing in the infantry. I want to keep this one. <coughs> so the order processing is the other one. So I select this one. By the way, your projects may have multiple actors. Uh, a lot of actors, not just a manager. You can use this filter to filter out only the actors you want to see. So now I go to the place order. Go to the show wheel. Then this is the manager I'm going to delete. Before I delete it, I can go to the actor grid to drag out the manager to here. Then I have another manager. Then I can move the the connector to here, and then delete these shapes. Now I deleted the manager, and you see the here we have the A showing in left top corner. It means this is the auxiliary wheel. If I go back to the actor grid, you see now I only have one manager, and they are relating to two different use case. You can repeat these steps to reduce the same name element in different model. And thank you for watching this movie.